Stop letting the internet tell you how you should be conducting yourself and how you should be thinking. Now this, <laughs> I'm not saying there aren't people on the internet that don't have beneficial information, okay? But you have to be real with yourself. If somebody's saying something that you know you should be hearing, more than likely it's beneficial information. But nowadays people just wanna hear things they wanna hear to help uh, solidify their negative tendencies, their strongholds that they're not willing to give up in their life. So there are good people on the internet, but you know, be real with yourself and take thought of, are they telling me what I need to be hearing? So let's get straight into the scripture. Proverbs 9 verse 10 through 12. For the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For through wisdom your days will be many and years will be added to your life. If you are wise, your wisdom re will reward you. If you are a mocker, you alone will suffer. So we're going to skip to Proverbs 10, 23-24. A fool finds pleasure in wicked schemes. But a person of understanding delights in wisdom. What the wicked dread will overtake them. What the righteous desire will be granted. And let me skip down just so I can give you this part too. I'm going to skip down to 27. The fear of the Lord adds length to your life. Length to life. But the years of the wicked are cut short. So, oftentimes the internet tells people how they should be conducting themselves and how they should be thinking. This is wrong. This is a scheme by the enemy. Because with free will of being able to access the internet and knowledge, he's going to bombard you with so much lies, falsehood. He's going to mix truth with lies to deceive you. So if you really want to know how you should be conducting yourself and how you should be thinking, read the Bible. Start with the book of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs will teach you how you should be conducting yourself and what to do and what not to do on, a, on simpler terms. Then start from Proverbs, then you wanna go to Genesis. Proverbs 11 verse two. When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with humility comes wisdom. The integrity of the upright guides them, but the unfaithful are destroyed by their duplicity. Stuff like this the world doesn't teach. You're not gonna find this on Instagram unless it's a, <laughs> a person who's doing Bible study. You're not gonna find this on TikTok unless it's a person who's doing Bible study. This is profound knowledge that everyone needs because, man, it's so easy to be deceived by somebody of the world. They can take parts of the truth and mix it with lies and portray it like it is the full truth. But <laughs> it's not like <laughs> you can end up being deceived. You can end up being good in this area, but completely faulty and completely suffering in this area over here. So... That's why it is important, extremely important to get in this Bible yourself and read the word because this Bible right here, it teaches you how to conduct yourself as a man, how to think as a man. It teaches you how to conduct yourself as a woman, how to think as a woman. Let me find a woman verse just so you know I'm not, <laughs> this isn't a joke here. Proverbs 10 verse 9 this is for men and women whoever walks in integrity walks securely but whoever takes crooked paths will be found out that's for men and women proverbs 11 verse 16 a kind-hearted woman gains honor but the ruthless men 
gain only wealth. That is for men and women. Like, <laughs> too busy depending on our own understanding. We're too busy depending on what other people got, thinking that they have riches, thinking that, oh, they're living this type of way, thinking that they have abundance of options, of sexual options, thinking, oh, they're surrounded by these people who are doing this and that. It's very, very important to understand that the knowledge of the Holy Spirit, the knowledge of the Word, the knowledge of God transcends all things we understand. His wisdom and knowledge was put here before the mountains, before the lakes, before the grass, before the animals. It existed before we were even created. <laughs> it was it was ex it was here before we even cre before we were even created. So you got to put your trust in something more liable, something that is more perfect. Our thought patterns aren't perfect. There's the flesh that influences thought patterns. There's outer, outer extremities that that uh, influences thought patterns. The world influences our thought patterns. Other people influences our thought patterns. The devil can influence our thought patterns. But when you're reading the word, as you begin to read the word more, you'll start to really, really get a full grasp of what is actually right and what you should be doing and how you should be living and how you should be thinking. You know? People don't know how to think or what to do so they follow what everybody else do. That's why clubbing, partying, drinking is such a big thing and it's so popularized especially in bigger cities because that is what everyone is doing. <laughs> and this is the trick of the enemy because people aren't closely knit or closely sunken into the truth and let me say this too. The truth of the Lord doesn't go with your feelings. Like, <laughs> you can't read the Bible and be like, oh, well, it says this and that. Like, there are different types of laws in the Bible. There's old law and there's spiritual laws that apply to just in any type of time that you're going to be in. So, if you're trying to com compare the Bible with your feelings or only read the Bible, uh, with certain type of coveting of your feelings or a certain type of uh let's see the word i'm trying to use certain type of comfort of your feelings you can't read the bible like that you can't read the bible in this one way and teach this way but not practice what the bible says in this way because you will suffer and you will be deceived by yourself the world and satan you know what i mean you can't just be like oh well i don't kill steal and destroy but you're still practicing sexual immorality like you just can't do that because you will suffer in some type of area and Satan will plant a seed and he will get the best of you or he will wait for an appointed time <laughs> when you're when he knows your weaknesses like Satan knows your mistakes like he knows your mistakes he truly does. He learns from your mistakes. Even when we don't learn from our own, our own mistakes. When you're not learning from your own mistakes, from your flesh and from your thinking, Satan is learning from that. He's smart. He's going to learn from your mistakes before you learn from your own mistakes. So it is important to let the word, to let God, to let the Holy Spirit truly transform you all the way through from the inside all the way out to every part of your body to every aspect of your life to every way that you think to all of your practices you can't just single God down to God is not one dimensional he's multi-dimensional you can't just apply him in certain areas <laughs> and think you'll reap the full benefits of the fruit of the Holy Spirit so I hope this was able to get to somebody like it's time to stop playing games. It's time to stop playing around with the truth. The truth will set you free. The truth is not here to hurt you or make you necessarily feel uncomfortable. Like, the truth is uncomfortable in the beginning because you're so used to lies. But because we're so conditioned to lies and partial truths, 
that's why <laughs> that is literally why the truth can be uncomfortable but, but when you make the truth an everyday habit in your life you seek the truth every day throughout your day through the word and through seeking God the truth can become more comfortable for you and the truth can become a reality for you instead of lies and this being a reality and you not knowing what the heck is actual reality so that is it for this video you know it's a beautiful day even though the sun keeps coming out and going back in through the clouds it is a beautiful day you gotta make it a beautiful day and you can truly truly make it a beautiful day by intentionally seeking God you know by our own willpower we can't make it a beautiful day I mean we can but it <laughs> unpredictable things can happen and it can ruin your day but by truly seeking the Lord first last and throughout your day is how you can make every single day a beautiful day no matter what's going on in your life I thank y'all for watching y'all be blessed